Bug bounty hunting can be a challenging and rewarding experience, but it can also be difficult to locate your first bug. If you are new to bug bounty hunting, don't worry, with persistence, dedication and the right strategies, you can increase your chances of success. Here are some helpful tips to guide you on your bug bounty journey. Before testing for bugs, take some time to register on the app and explore its features. Play around with the app like a regular user and ask yourself questions such as, what will happen if a regular user can access the admin section? Can a non-admin user view the secret files? Can a user upload a known basic file type such as PHP in a PHP application? Is it possible to inject HTML tags into the exported PDFs? And if so, is it possible to read the internal files using that tag? Is it possible to call a local host when creating a new webhook or even an AWS meta address? Does the app require an old password for changing the password or email? If not, then is it possible to find the accesses somewhere to achieve the full account takeover? What kind of stack app is it built with? What are the versions? Are there any vulnerabilities? Are there any file paths or URL params or post body that can be tested for local file inclusion vulnerabilities? Is there any premium subscription plan that gives benefits? Can these benefits be achieved using a normal user without a subscription? Asking questions like these can help you identify potential vulnerabilities and give you a better understanding of the app's security. During your testing sessions, try to stay focused and avoid distractions. It's also important to take breaks in between testing sessions to stay fresh and maintain your focus. For example, two hours on one day and two hours on another day are better than four hours on one day since your brain needs time to analyze, to analyze the information. Start with basics such as looking for broken links, SQL injections, or XSS vulnerabilities. These types of vulnerabilities are common and easy to find, so they can be a good way to start with. While it's important to test the app manually, automated tools can help you cover more ground and identify potential vulnerabilities quickly. However, it is essential to note that automated tools are not a substitute for manual testing. Instead of trying to test the entire app at once, focus on one specific area or feature. This approach will help you develop a deeper understanding of that area and you may find vulnerabilities that you wouldn't have discovered otherwise. Join online communities, attend conferences and read bug bounty write-ups from other researchers. This way, you can learn from their experience, techniques, and insights. Make sure to document everything you do during your testing sessions, including screenshots, notes, and logs. This documentation will be helpful when you submit your bug report, and it can also be helpful to keep track of your progress and identify areas where you need to improve. Remember, bug bounty hunting is a journey, not a destination. It takes time patience and dedication to develop the skills and knowledge necessary to be successful. By following these tips and continuing to learn and improve, you can increase your chances of locating your first bug and becoming a successful bug bounty hunter. Good luck!